Welcome to the Creating Significant Figures Questions in the Question Library demo. First, log in to your Desire to Learn account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Assessments link. Notice the tabs at the top, Manage Assessments, Question Library, and Statistics. Click on the Question Library tab. Click on the section name to go into its folder. From the New drop-down button, click on the question type you want to create. To create significant figures questions, pick that option from the New drop-down button. You can leave the title of the question blank. Doing so, will make the question text show up as the title. You can leave the points value set to 1. This number can be changed later when you create your assessment. Click in the text field and enter in your question. Example, add open brace x close brace miles and open brace Y close brace miles and round to three significant figures. Notice that the variables are enclosed with braces. This tells the computer that X and Y are variables that will be defined for this question. If you want to add an image to go along with this question, click the Insert an Image button and locate the file on your computer, and then click the Add button. In the Formula field, enter in your formula. Be sure to put your variables inside braces. Example, open brace, x, close brace, plus open brace, y, close brace. Choose how many significant figures you want in your answer. Choose what portion of the question the significant figure answer is worth. Choose the tolerance that will make this an acceptable answer. Enter your units. In this example, our units are miles. Enter the percent of this question's value that the units will get. Now we get to the variables. We use the variables in the question inside braces. Here, do not enter the braces. Put a variable in each name box. Next, set the range for the variable x. Example, min 3 times 10 to the 4th, max 4 times 10 to the 4th, step 1 times 10 to the 2nd. This means that when the computer chooses an x value, it must choose the value according to these rules. The lowest x it can choose is 3 times 10 to the 4th, or 30,000. The highest is 4 times 10 to the 4th, or 40,000. It can choose a number using a step of 1 times 10 to the 2nd, or 100. 
This means it can only choose 30,000, 30,100, 30,200, all the way to 40,000. Next, set the range for the Y variable. Example, min 4 times 10 to the 4th, max 5 times 10 to the 4th, step 3 times 10 to the 3rd. What this means is that when the computer chooses a Y value, it must choose a value according to these rules. The lowest Y it can choose is 40,000 and the Y choices increase by 3,000. So the next Y choices are 43,000, 46,000, 49,000. This is the highest Y value as it cannot exceed 50,000. Now click the preview button at the bottom right. Notice the variables and the sample values chosen and the answer boxes for the student. Notice the formula, the solution with units, and your comments. Make sure that the formula is acting the way you expected it to act. Click Done. When you are finished making changes, click the Save button in the bottom left hand corner and you will return to the section list. If you want to create another question very similar to this one, click on the Save and Copy button. That will save this question and create another one with all of this question's information, so that you can just edit this question's information instead of retyping it. If you want to create another question of this same type, click on the Save and New button. That will save this question and give you a new blank question of this question type. You have now successfully created a significant figure question in the question library. To return to the question library, click on the question library breadcrumb trail. Or click on the Done Editing Questions button to return to the Assessments tool.